Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see a problem on wind energy or windmill. So let's start. Now here is the question. It is given, determine the windmill rotor diameter to operate a centrifugal pump. So the question is in such a way that here we have a windmill and that windmill is generating a power. With the help of that power we are driving a centrifugal pump. So, which will have a discharge of 40,000 liters per day. This is the capacity of the centrifugal pump given. It means the centrifugal pump will have a discharge of 40,000 liters per day. So, that discharge is denoted by capital Q, 40,000 liters per day. Now, this discharge needs to be converted into meter cube per second. So, I will read the question further with a total head of 10 meter. So, this is the pressure head given which is denoted by capital H. The pump operates for 10 hours in a day. Now, this condition is important. In the question, they have said that the pump will deliver 40,000 liters per day. Now, per day, it does not mean that the pump will run for 24 hours. It is mentioned it will work for 10 hours per day. So, what I will do here is it is 40,000 liters. So, first of all, 40,000 will be divided by 10. So, that will give me liters per hour. Next, multiplying it with 10 raised to minus 3 will give me the value in terms of meter cube per hour. Then again, I will be multiplying in the denominator by 3600 to get the answer in terms of meter cube per second because this is the unit which is required. So, after calculating this, the discharge of 40,000 liters per day becomes 1.11 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube per second. So, that is the value of capital Q. Next, the rated speed of the wind is, so the wind velocity can be denoted by either V or it can be denoted by C which is 6 meter per second. Next, the power coefficient is 0.3. So, power coefficient will be denoted by C suffix P value is 0.3 and what is this power coefficient we will see in the problem. Then the density of air is 1.2 kg per meter cube. So, denoted by rho, air density 1.2 kg per meter cube, the air or the wind which is going into the windmill. Then, assuming the transmission efficiency is 95%, divide this by 100 to get it in terms of a decimal which is 0.95 and the pump efficiency is 35% which is 0.35 after dividing by 100. So, here the question is we have to find out how much is the diameter of the rotor or you can say the diameter of the windmill. So, starting the question, first of all, the area of the rotor is given by the formula, area is equal to pi r square, as simple as that because here the rotor is circular in shape. So, it is having a diameter of capital D, which is what we have to calculate. So, area will be pi r square, area of a circle. Now, when we are looking into this diagram, we have the wind power because when the wind is flowing, we have this as the wind power which goes inside the rotor. So, the wind is rotating the rotor. So, wind power gets converted into input power. This is the power which is available at the rotor. Now, the power is transferred from the rotor to this shaft and at the shaft, the power which is available is called as the output power. Now, this output power goes into driving the centrifugal pump. So, here we can see there are three different powers. First of all, after writing this as equation number 1, because we need to find the diameter, for that radius is required and radius will be calculated once we have the value of area. So, after this giving it as equation 1, next is I will use the formula of power coefficient. Power coefficient is given by, it is again input power upon wind power. Input power you can say which is the power which is available at the rotor and the power which is the wind power will go into the denominator because wind power will always be greater than the power generated by the rotor. So, input upon the wind power. Now, input power is not known to us, but wind power, I can write it in the formula. This is the formula of wind power. You all can just remember this. It is half into density of air into capital A, the area of the rotor into velocity cube. Now, how this unit comes that why this is called as power, I will explain it shortly that the density of air is density is kg per meter cube multiplied by area is meter square area of the rotor and here we have velocity cube. Velocity is meter per second. 
सो क्यूब विल बिकम मीटर क्यूब अपॉन सेकेंड क्यूब सो इन टू दिस यर आई कैन सी दैट मीटर क्यूब एंड मीटर क्यूब विल गेट कैंसल्ड आउट देन दिस कैन बी सिंप्लीफाइड एज के जी आई एम कीपिंग वन मीटर ओवर यर एंड सेकेंड स्क्वेर सो वट इज लेफ्ट यर वन मीटर गोज ओवर यर सो दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज मीटर अपॉन सेकेंड क्यूब आई हेव स्प्लिट इट सो दिस बिकम सेकेंड स्क्वेयर इंटू सेकेंड नाउ के जी मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेयर इज नथिंग बट फोर्स एंड द यूनिट ऑफ फोर्स इज न्यूटन सो वी हैव न्यूटन इंटू मीटर पर सेकेंड एंड न्यूटन मीटर न्यूटन इंटू मीटर इज जूल एंड जूल पर सेकेंड इज वैट्स सो दैट्स हाउ वी कॉल इट एज द विंड पावर द यूनिट इज वैट्स नाउ आउटपुट पावर इन ऑर्डर टू गेट द इनपुट पावर फर्स्ट वी शूड नो द आउटपुट पावर विच इज द पावर विच इज अवेलेबल एट द शाफ्ट और द पावर विच ड्राइव द सेंट्रिफिकल पंप so i am writing the power required to operate the centrifugal pump is the output power which is given by rho g into capital q into h now rho in the problem it is nowhere specified that which kind of liquid is there in the centrifugal pump so i am assuming the liquid to be water so we have density of water into g into capital q into h now how this unit we are getting the unit of power this i have proved it over here the unit of rho into g together is called as weight density so it is newton per meter cube then into capital q which is meter cube per second multiplied by capital h which is in terms of meter so meter cube meter cube will get cancelled out we are left with newton meter per second so newton meter is joule per second which is in terms of watts as proven over here now i am just going on putting the values density of water is 1000 g 9.81 Capital Q, which I have taken it as meter cube per second, and capital H is given in the problem as 10 meter. So after putting all the values, I am getting the output power as watts. Dividing by thousand will give me the answer in terms of kilowatts. Now once output power is known, remember that this output power will always be less than the input power by efficiencies which is given in the problem. So input power can be calculated as output power divided by transmission efficiency into the pump efficiency. so just putting the values input power will come out to be 324 watts because i have put the output power in terms of watts so once we know the input power we can put all values in equation number second we can see here in equation second only area is the unknown over here once we put all the values so area is not known to us cp which is the power coefficient it is given as 0.3 so after putting all the values over here i am getting the answer of area and that answer is 10 meter square once we know the value of area we can put the values in equation 1 so area is equal to pi r square on calculating this the radius of rotor comes out to be 1.78 multiplying it by 2 gives me the diameter of rotor which was asked in the question so the diameter comes out to be 3.56 meter so as mentioned in the question we have calculated the diameter of this rotor so that completes the problem at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you'll can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching